what was that like that whole experience for you like? um you know it was it was really awesome walking out um the song i picked was my dad's favorite song so he passed away almost six years ago so you know it was just it was super emotional walking out and then i got my period today so it's even more emotional <laughs> and then i got a win so i'm even like over the top so i can't There's stop crying the there is <laughs> there is Wow. Um, yeah, so um, too much information, I'm sure, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot to process right now, you know, it's, in Canada, I'm finally coming back, you know, and, you know, I had, I had a lot of doubt in myself, and I'm finally, you know, getting confidence back, and it, it was, it was good, it was fun, and I'm sorry I can't stop crying, <laughs> things are, <laughs> what was the song? It was called Sweet Things by Danny Michelle and Campdown Racers. It's, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a Canadian artist as well. So, yeah, it's just like, why can't you see the sweet things until they're all gone? So it's kind of like perfect for the moment as well. So I was just taking it all in. And, yeah. Were you concerned that it might be too much to have that song as you're watching? There was, and that's why I waited until now for it, you know. Um, and then I got my period early, so <laughs> I kind of fucked the whole thing up, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, there was a bit of concern, but they, I was thinking that song, and I couldn't think of anything else, and then I was trying to think of something else, and nothing came to mind when they finally messaged me. I figured that's, that's what I'd go with, and I could always change it if I came up with something else, but didn't, so that's the song I picked. Have you ever walked out to that? No, I haven't. So what prompted, is it just because you couldn't think of anything else? Um, no, like I've, I've wanted to come out to that song for a while, but you know, when, when you make your UFC debut, it's pretty big, and I knew it was going to be a bit emotional. Uh, I felt like I was finally like at a place in my life where I could handle it and understand the song, and kind of, I feel like I've grown, grown a lot, and I've grown up a lot lately, and I just felt like it was the right time for it. Yeah. He had a uh, brain cancer, so yeah. And then, as far as the performance is concerned, <laughs> yeah. is there anything that you were unhappy about that seemed um, like a pretty flawless you know, performance? You know, um, starting off the bat, I was hoping to strike a bit more. I was hoping, I was hoping to uh, knock her out. To be honest, um, I was hoping to show my hands because I've really been working on them. And you know, I I kind of started out a bit late, and she kind of went in for the clinch, and I was like, okay, I guess I'll just go here. I went for that sit back throw, but I kind of messed it up. And uh, yeah, but arm bars are always there for me. I, I like arm bars. I knew I'd be able to get it if I ended up in any bad position. So yeah. It seemed like the ref was just a, maybe a tad late because I know you tapped a few times. Well, yeah. So I I usually just look at the ref and I don't really wait on my opponent. But she was like just so open and just tapped a bunch of times, and I was like. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just, her elbow? Honestly, I wasn't paying attention. I was just trying to just go for it. So I, I don't know. And do you feel like now you're on a roll? Like you can fight a little more consistently? You know what? I feel, I feel healthy for the first time since, since being on the Tough Show. So I've had injury after injury going in, coming off of an injury too soon going back after an injury too soon and then this time I finally wanted to get healthy before taking a fight so I was in the gym consistently found out about this fight I had a lot of time to prepare for it a lot of time to get in shape I feel like I'm in the best shape I've been in I would just want to get in better shape and I want to crisp my technique up and I just want to get used to being in the octagon again because you can imagine it and then but once you get back in there then you're like oh yeah this is what it feels like but you can't like until you're there, you kind of forget, so I just want to not forget, you know? I want to just get another fight in as soon as possible. Also, sure. how did you change? I mean, it was clear at the weigh-ins that you were probably in the best shape of your career. How did you, Thank you. How did you change things up to get into um, shape? You know, I, did, I went to the UFC Performance Institute before my camp started. I got an awesome workout plan with Bo. I worked nutrition with Clint. I had, saw the physio there. I had, you know, a lot of good times there. I mean, I was only there for a week and a half or so, but they gave me a, a lot of stuff to work on, a lot of stuff to think about, a lot of stuff to bring back home. Bo stayed in contact with me while I was at home. You know, I'm hoping to go back out there, get another plan as soon as I'm done here so I can stay in shape and not get injured. And the healthier I am, the less I get injured. So I'm hoping just to stay healthy, stay injury free, and just fight as much as possible.
what were some of the doubts? Were you thinking you didn't belong or maybe you were thinking about stepping away? Um, you know, there's, there's always doubts, but like, I don't know. I, you know, when I started training, women weren't in the UFC. There was no such thing. So it was, it's, it's kind of like hard to believe, you know, like I've been working at Canada Post, delivering mail. No one knows who I am, you know, like, like that's my job, right? So I've been doing that and trying to get to the gym and it's just felt like, like a second job doing this rather than my first job. So when you're not like fully focused, you kind of like don't always feel like that's where you belong. But, you know, I... I've been really working on myself and trying to believe in myself and, you know, like, I, I, I feel like I belong here now. Should, should they give you a, a bonus with that sort of thing? Would that help you be able to step away from the job to maybe kind of go back of into course. this full-time? My, my boss actually messaged me while I was cutting weight asking if I could work next week. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm, I was like, I'm going to go with no for oh, now. No. But, yeah, so I'm just, like, so happy that I can be, like, no. What do you do for them? I sort of deliver mail, so I'm up at 4 a.m., I get to work at 5 a.m., and I work till about 1 or 2, depending how busy it is, and then I go to the gym after that, so and were you doing long that days. Up Five. until you came here? Um, I stopped three months ago just so that I could get in shape and stuff, so that's why I started to go fund me, just so I could help fund myself, fund my trip to Vegas to get all that information and everything. And, you know, like, yeah, so we, we started saving, like, I had a fight camp and it, I got injured and I fell through and I was so broke, I put everything on my credit card and I was, like, I just didn't want to be in that position again because I had to work overtime and try to pay it all off. So I tried to save a, a bit of money for this. I was thinking for a down payment on a house, but it ended up all going to fight camp instead, so... Um, you know, I'm happy to get this, and uh, I'm hoping to get another fight soon. Be nice to, yeah, yeah, it's nice that I got the win bonus. It's nice that I don't have to pay U.S. taxes on it. I'm just, <laughs> you know, Winnipeg in December. That's, that's, what I, that's what I'm hoping for. And, and so you said the GoFundMe, how much did you actually get from it? I got uh, just about five grand from it, so that, you know, it definitely helped a lot. It's not the full, the full cost of the camp, but it definitely helped me a lot, so I'm not in the negative going into this fight. So. Can we do that again? Um, you know, I'm really hoping not. I'm hoping that I maybe get a performance bonus or something like that so I don't have to. Um, you know, I'm, and then also this being getting paid in US dollars rather than Canadian dollars from Canadian, so it should help a lot. If I can get back in soon, you know, then it'd be great. If I have to take two years off again, then I might need to do a GoFundMe again. But, you know, I'm hoping to stay healthy and stay in there and I really, I really don't want to do something like that. I feel, I feel bad asking, but you know, I had so much support and so much love from everyone. Thank you, everyone that's helped me, you know, do this. I know you guys were all cheering me on, and I, you know, I love you all. So you had to shoulder the cost to go to the Performance Institute. The UFC doesn't try to help out there. Pretty much just they, pay your way, and we'll, we'll let you in. <laughs> kind of. They, <laughs> um, yeah, like they. They, we have a discounted rate for a hotel, but it still ends up being like 89 bucks US a night, so it's still a bit much. Um, and then they got food at the Institute, but it's really only lunch, breakfast and lunch, so you have to find your own dinners pretty much. But you know, they're great while I'm there. They like the food, the food is unreal there, like unreal. And then like my team gets it at a discounted cost too, so. Honestly, like, I, I can't wait to go back and, you know, get myself in even better shape for my next fight.